sponsoring our old daytime talk show. Uh, <laughs> hey, we no we, brawls, no brawls. Yeah, right, no chairs. <laughs> if, if you haven't been hugged by Geraldo, you'll have a chance to do that afterwards. But coming up uh, after Geraldo, we still got Mark Stein's going to be uh, here, Eric and Lara Trump with a big announcement, and Mike Rowe, Mr. Blue Collar. Uh, he'll be also to close the show. So all, all that's coming in your direction. Yeah. All brought to us today by FedEx. Didn't they just have a baby? They have a baby. They, right. they, had a, they have a little, a little boy named Luke, and they just announced they're having another baby. Another baby. Yes, yeah, so we'll talk to them about that. But right. right now, let's Nicest talk to you people. about what's happening with William Barr. So Rod Rosenstein, he defended him because the left is saying they, they, he was trying to mislead the public. They're all upset because he used the word spying. And Rosenstein said, I think it's just completely bizarre. He said it'd be different if Barr had said, I'm not going to give you the report at all. But instead, he wanted to give the top line conclusions, and that's what we were just trying to do, to try to give a summary so that American people didn't have to wait weeks to read the whole thing. I think that William Barr is an impeccable, uh, superb professional. I think that if William Barr had been uh, President Trump's first choice for attorney general, we never would have had Russia collusion, delusion, illusion. Uh, I think that what he said was right on, spot on. Uh, there, is, I, have, uh, I have little doubt uh, but that the Obama era Justice Department spied on the Trump campaign, spied on uh, the uh, president elect, and I think in many ways engineered and made absolutely probable all of the trauma we've gone through with this whole Russia. Oh, well, how about Russia this? Game. James Comey, so all six foot 11 inches of him, disagrees. <laughs> Watch. Disagrees with me? Whoa. With respect to Barr's comments, I really don't know what he's talking about. When he talks about spying on the campaign, when I hear that kind of language used, it's concerning because the FBI and the Department of Justice conduct court-ordered electronic surveillance. I have never thought of that as spying. If the Attorney General has come to the belief that that should be called spying, wow, that's going to require a whole lot of conversations inside the Department of Justice. But I don't know what he meant by that term. And it's key because he said court ordered. And all the questions come down to what was told to the FISA court to get the order. I have no doubt but that what you just saw is one of the most disingenuous interviews I, had, I have heard recently. Wow. Uh, to, to say that electronic surveillance and spying are different. What is the exact difference? Is it the method? There is no doubt. I believe that they did wiretap. Uh, Obama's, uh, or rather Trump's office here in New York. I believe that they turned informants in, in the way uh, they twisted arms to get people in trouble, get them conflicted, so they had to snitch anything that they knew about the president. Talking about Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos. Uh, Carter Page. Carter, and, and, you know, you have a situation Michael here where Flynn. they, poor Michael Flynn, they twisted these people, they got them in a perjury trap, they had them by the short hairs, they got them to cooperate, and guess what? There was still no Russia collusion. But there is no doubt that uh, to make a, a, a fine distinction between surveillance and spying right. is, I think, just the, deflecting attention from let, what's Let's call the audience. Uh, show of hands, who thinks there was spying on the Trump campaign? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's every hand in the house. Wow. And, and, you know, the, uh, the, the Henry Kissinger once said, even paranoiacs have enemies. Even though he, President Trump or President-elect Trump was totally paranoid, that doesn't mean he did not have people spying on him. And as it turns out, everything that he said basically is correct. Uh, what, they went after him full bore in, a, in what, maybe, maybe it is overstating. It's not overstating to say spying. Maybe it's overstating to say there was an attempted coup. But they were talking about the 25th Amendment. They were talking about high management getting cabinet-level officials uh, to declare the president uh, compass, incompass mentis and, and to take over. I mean, this was very, very serious. I think the blowback from this is going to be way bigger than Russia Gate was. The collusion illusion is going to dim right. into history as we right. find out how, how a group of uh, non-elected officials right. try to overthrow the president of the United States. How many people knew that Geraldo knew Latin? <laughs> I was a little surprised by that. Uh, let's see if he goes over. They just got one. All right, so let's Tempest talk. Uh, so every day is a surprise in the Trump era, and yesterday was a surprise. We got up to learn that after seven plus years, Julian Assange, who was under arrest in the UK, dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy. Is he a hero or a villain? Julian Assange to me is an anti American slime ball whose every action was designed to hurt the United States of America. 
He did it with Chelsea Manning and the spying in 2010, 2011, when he released those videos of, uh, of civilian casualties from American airstrikes. No tried to undermine our efforts in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Uh, Julian Assange then chose the Trump side in the 2016 election, but he did that more to be disruptive because he thought Hillary Clinton was going to win. He tried right. to undermine her, tried to undermine the whole uh, fabric of our democracy. I, I have nothing but... Uh, uh, but contempt for Julian Assange, and I hope that justice finally comes called. How many of you think he was a hero? Raise your hands. Anybody? No one. No one. So let me ask you this: well, the What will happen said he next? Loved WikiLeaks. Yeah, well, he—that—that's the diabolical cleverness of an Assange. You—you—you you, you do people favors, get them on your side momentarily, but he could have easily done it with the Republicans too. He could have used the same kinds of materials that he had on John Podesta against the Republicans, but they had better electronic uh, defenses right. against hacking who than the, the Democrats. Who's the real lawmaker, though? Because Chelsea Manning, she took classified information, serving our country, classified information, and handed it over to Assange. Assange says, I was just doing, I was just, freedom of, freedom of press, I'm he allowed to... He was the to... publisher. Exactly. So his punishment, I bet, will be harsher than her punishment was, but... Her crime, I feel like, was more severe. I, I think Chelsea Manning is the original sin in, in stealing the classified information. And was pardoned. And, and was pardoned, but she did a considerable time, and she's back in jail she now is. because she, she's not she cooperating on the Assange the investigation. Uh, you know, I, there is a pathos there. I, I don't want to get into that. What, what I, my, my main point is that Julian Assange is an opportunist whose every move was calculated to hurt the United States of America. There's no doubt about it. If you are a patriot, uh, like what, now they're using the president's words saying, I love WikiLeaks against mm -hmm. him. The president was ebullient mm -hmm. in terms of saying, oh, I got this stuff and it's great, isn't it great? What if it, the shoe was on the other foot? Mm -hmm. I think the president would have been a, a wholly different person. He would have been outraged by the attacks. Uh, he would have uh, said they're undermining democracy. You, you cannot play ball with someone like Julian Assange because he is going to destroy your democracy. He's going to hurt, he's going to play with you today, hurt, hurt you tomorrow. Yep and use you like a like a yo-yo he it's perfect now well, he's a l alleged rapist he's got uh, uh, you know a, a bail problems in the uk he's facing extradition to the united states i think julian assange now will be wearing right. uh, prison stripes but i keep it saying it's also important to know he's teamed with the russians there's no way totally he was working with teaming with the russians he says he has no relationship he's a, he's a russian agent in fact ladies and gentlemen the great oh,